hello everyone welcome back and today's topic is we are going to look at a very important data type that is the dictionaries okay so dictionaries is one of the core data type of python okay and it is used to for a collection of elements just like we have a list and tuples uh, so we have dictionaries which is used for uh, you know it is used as a collection of uh, elements okay and the elements are stored in form of key and value now this is the big difference we have in dictionary as compared to a list okay because every value will be associated with a key so there will be a key and then that key will have a value okay so that is how we are going to store the elements uh, in a dictionary and uh, the key should be immutable data type that is number strings and tuples so the key will be a uh, immutable data type it can be a number it can be a string and it can be a tuple but make sure that tuples can have a list inside it okay so we cannot have a list inside a tuple so the tuples element should be also immutable okay we will take an example for this and uh, then we have is uh, dictionaries are mutable data type so we can change the value which means we can change the values of the keys okay and indexing now there is no indexing as such in dictionary it is actually in form of uh, um, you know in form of uh, a key so a key kind of acts as a indexing in dictionary so we don't have something like index value 0 1 2 you know the forward indexing or the backward indexing just like we have it in um, you know in we have it in strings we have it in list and tuples we don't have it over here okay so it is in form of a uh, keys so we can access the values by using the keys okay and it is an unordered set so basically there is a, it's not in a particular sequence that you feed the data into a dictionary and this uh, it is exactly in that sequence it is going to show you it is not going to happen so it is an unordered uh, set okay so one by one uh, just will prove the, all these points okay so let, let us just start it now to declare a dictionary we can use any variable name just like t which normally is a convention for tuples we use so for a dictionary we can use the variable called as d you can have any variable name like a okay so d and then i give this um, the curly braces opening the curly brackets you can have over here so this indicates these brackets the curly bracket indicates uh, that this is a dictionary so this basically define i have just defined a empty dictionary so there are no elements into this now if i want to have some elements into a dictionary i can simply do d is equal to then the curly brackets and i can have the key and then the value so key that is if i have to define like one which is an immutable data type right and then that is a colon that's the syntax and i can give a value like this. so this is the value this becomes the value and this is the key so this is the key and value and then i can have a comma i can have a second key and the second value here like a list here so these are two elements into the dictionary the keys are one and two and the value for one is a j and the value for two is additive so this is how it works so basically it's a key value combination okay and this colon is what separates them that's the key and the colon separate after followed by the colon we will have the value and then the second we have to for the second key value we have to give a comma separated by comma and then the key and then the value okay so this is how you can uh, you know define a dictionary and dictionaries are uh, you know mutable data type so we can add elements into a dictionary we can delete the elements from a dictionary understand it okay another way of doing is uh, way of doing is using the function that is dict okay so this if i don't pass anything okay and i simply print a d so this will be an empty dictionary so the function called as a dict d i c t so this is an empty dictionary you can see okay now i can pass some values to the dictionary like uh, in form of a uh, you know 
uh, in form of a list for example this is a list and inside that I will, I will have nested list like this is the first nested list and the second nested list okay this so basically and then uh, there are two elements in this dictionary and I can pass the value like one comma a j so this becomes the key for the dictionary and this becomes the value and this I can say like one comma and Aditya okay so make sure that you don't get confused this is a list so list are separated by commas there is you're not supposed to use any colon over here okay because these are lists so this is the outermost list and these are the two nested list and if I try to print this now you can see the output for this is a so this this particular list you can see okay a one and a j that is one becomes the key and this becomes the value this is the second key and the second value okay also you can have you know you can pass a you know a, a tuple and inside that i have a list so even this if you see it works okay in fact i can i can also have uh, the nested tuples over here even this is fine okay but uh, you know if you ask me like the simplest way of uh, you know defining a dictionary is just straight away you can have your elements that is one colon isn't that so easy to to declare to define your elements rather than doing the list and nested list right so this is the way you can do it the easiest way okay and the, another way we have is uh, which normally we don't use it is the zip function so the zip function is basically you pass a function zip okay and uh, it will have okay first in the brackets is the keys and second we will have is the values okay so this is an another way you can do it and uh, but personally i don't think we are going to use this okay this is the zip function so here it is the key and value so this is a zip function okay inside that you can have this keys and these are the values so first we define the keys and then the values but as i said we normally don't use this we are going to simply use a dictionary straight away the key and values and then we can perform the operations now how to uh, add an element into a dictionary for example this is an empty dictionary okay and now uh, dynamically i need to add some uh, keys and values so how i can do that so so, so simple i can use d of one that is a square brackets and i can say a j over here and similarly i can use the second statement change this to two and make this as j okay and then i will try to print the dictionary and you can see we have it over here so uh, we have added the elements using a uh, statement by statement right dynamically we are adding the elements into a dictionary this was an empty dictionary and then we added the elements isn't it one more important factor i want to tell you is um, the keys should be unique you cannot have the same key for the two values okay you cannot have the same key so keys should be unique so let us try to run this okay this will run but if you see what we have done is we have just changed the values but if i try to define in this way let us define this way one and then i say a j and then two and i say sorry again one and i say which is okay let us see if this works okay so you can see even this if you see the one which the next value i have given it has taken that and it has ignored this understand it so if you want um, you know so make sure that the keys basically should be unique so if i give this as two and now it should work i will have both the elements into this isn't it so okay so that is how the keys should be unique so that's one of the important point and uh, now how about you know uh, accepting some data from the user and one by one we will you know add that to a dictionary isn't it so let us do that okay let us declare declare an empty dictionary and 
do the for loop okay and uh, i say five so i will accept five uh, roll number and student so i will say roll number is equal to okay roll number so what i will do is a d of okay first i will accept the roll number from the user so i can have this roll number and i can simply use input function okay and i will say enter 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 the roll number okay simple and then what i will do is i will accept the student name so name i can take it as input and i will say enter the student name okay and then what i will do is i'll use the dictionary of roll number roll number equal to name right and then outside the loop i will simply print the dictionary okay so let us see how this works okay let us run this now for roll number one i say a j roll number two i say a j roll number three i say aditya roll number four i say rohan i roll number five um like any name mahesh okay and here it is this is we have the dictionary out here okay so this is our first element this is the second element the third element the fourth and the fifth element isn't it so this is how you know dynamically we can using a loop one by one we can add the element so roll number basically becomes the key and the value becomes the name now it's not like you know the value can be of any data type it's not like we can have only uh, the string okay we can have any data type uh, for example uh, what we can do is uh, take a uh, name and name and uh, name class okay use a capital s uh, class i can accept a class from the user using the input okay and i say enter the class okay and then okay enter the class and then enter the section okay and what i will do is i will add name class and section to a list i will define a list over here okay list like um, okay if i have an empty list over here okay and uh, that list i will add append and uh, i will say and um, okay that is name okay name and uh, okay name then i will say uh, class and then a uh, section and then again i'll def make that list as an empty list okay over here this is very important and then what i will do is i will add that dictionary as key as roll number okay, okay key as roll number and uh, value as this list okay let us see what happens let us see what happens okay so i have is a roll number like a name is aj class is um, eight section is a again another name that is roll number is two and i'll give as vj okay just some data i'm fitting and uh, roll number three i can give aditya that's class is uh, six and b and then a roll number i will say four i can give it as one and then class as uh, maybe seven and section as uh, you know c again the last that is roll number five the name i can give it as uh, you know nitin and class as maybe maybe two seven a and here it is you can see okay i'll just expand this oh you can see this is the roll number and the value that we have the value that we have is a list which has the name the class 
and the section. And this is the uh, key two, the key value two. And the value that we have is a list which has uh, the name, the class, the section. So value, you can have any value of any data type, okay? Keys, you can have immutable data types which can be number, string, and tuples which doesn't have a list as any, uh, which should have only immutable elements, simple as that, okay? And now, how to delete an element from a list? How to delete an element from a list? So we can simply use del and then give the name of the key. Okay, before going ahead, uh, let me just tell you how to do the, uh, you know, the dictionary traverser one by one, how we can access. We are right now just displaying the dictionary, but what if I just want to give a proper uh, output? So for that, I will use for i in d, okay? First, we'll look at the traverser and then we'll look how to delete the elements. So for i in d, now i becomes the key. It will have the key from this dictionary. So normally, normally we use the convention as the variable key but you can use anything like I, okay? And then what I will do is, I will try to print D of I. Now, when I say D of I, it means that D of that particular key, which I has, okay? Let us just print both of them, one by one and the entire dictionary, okay? I'll just make this, cut it short, make this as only two, so we will have two elements, okay? Now let us have row number one, Name is Ajay, class is A, section A. Rule number two, we have Vijay, uh, class is A, section is maybe B. And here it is. So one by one, I have displayed, okay, just a minute. One by one, okay. This is the first element, second element. Okay, second element didn't have anything. Okay, this was two, zero and one. Okay, something just went wrong and uh, Okay, everything looks fine. D of I, just a minute. Okay, let us have rule number one. We'll just see what went wrong. And uh, section is A, six and A. Rule number two, that is a VJ. And we have a class as four, section as, okay, class as four, enter class. Something is going wrong over here, just a minute. That is uh, enter class, okay, I gave the same just a minute. Let us run this and see if there's any er error. We will get rid of it. Uh, name is J. class is uh, five, section is A, and I'll give J. class as four, and section as B. Okay, so over here, this is the first element and second element it is showing as empty. Okay, so I have one and two, I'm going Okay, this is the mistake that I'm making over here is I shouldn't be having it over here. I should be having it over here, isn't it? Now it will run, okay? So let us run this, roll number one, section class, section two, VJ, uh, class is eight again, section is also eight. And now you can see, so this is the first element, that's the value, which was a list, isn't it? And this is the second value, which again is a list. So I displayed it using a loop over here. And this is where we are actually displaying the entire dictionary, okay? So this is called as the dictionary traverser for I in the dictionary. So I will have, uh, you know, the keys. And when I say D of I, so basically it will display the value of that key, which I have. Okay, so you can use this, you can have some declare some simple dictionary and use this loop and you can check the output. Okay, now we will go on to delete an element. So if you want to delete, so simple, I have to just specify the key. So for example, if I have a key like one, so that particular element will be deleted. So let us run this using the del statement. Okay, so rule number one, class uh, name is J, eight, A, so rule number two and eight and a and you can see we have only the second element why because this statement over here 
this actually deleted the role number one okay so if you want we can declare display it before also so that we can get an idea of it okay so let us run this again and then we will move forward class is 6 a rule number 2 and uh, that is 6 and a and here you can see this is the before deleting i'm displaying the dictionary out here and then i'm deleting the first uh, the first key and the value so we have only the one element that is this one okay so this is how you can do you can also use a pop function which is a method so that uh, we can using a dictionary and i say one so what this will do is this will also delete the element which has the key as one and but it will pass it will return the value of that key into i so that you can show to the user which uh, value got deleted and i will simply print i over here so let us run this now so if i give roll number one j class as six and a okay then five and a now you can see that this was the dictionary dot got that got created and then this is the value that i received when i deleted the deleted the uh, that particular element and this is what is left in the dictionary okay so this is how you can use the pop uh, the pop method okay so that's it for today and uh, in the, my next tutorial we will have something more on the dictionaries we will have uh, some more methods and we will take some programs onto this okay but understand dictionary is a very very important uh, data type so you really need to uh, really need to get a hook on to this okay bye for now